Hey, good morning. Video number one intro. It is a regarding our trip to Elsica Heritage Centre. Now, for us, that's local. It is literally 10 minutes maybe in the car. There's a, they have a lot of events there. That we've done a lot of cosplay events up there. They do antique fairs. They do toy fairs. They do all sorts. Now, the toy fair is only a little ditty one, really, compared with some of the big ones. But I usually pop up because, for some reason, it's of an evening. It's always a Tuesday evening. I think it's once a month. I might have got that wrong. If you are in the area and interested, it is on their website. So you can check that out. But we pop up now as much as it does say the word doll on the sign doll is very definitely minimum but you never know so i usually pop up just to have a look because it's like two pound to get in and that's early access two pound so it's well and truly worth a look even if i get one thing but i have been last two months i had a big gap but then i have been once last month and once this month and I have got some goodies. I have a bag full of goodies. I also have this gorgeous thing, not the doll. Um, she's just modeling it nicely for me. We'll have a look at it properly when we go top down. Uh, it's perfect for the theme because obviously it is Cindy's 60th birthday this year. And there's gonna be some celebrations at DollyCon and I wanted to make a very 60s outfit. When I saw the Vespa-esque, I got corrected about that. I thought it was a Vespa. I know nothing about these things. <laughs> I'm not come home and my husband goes, it's not a Vespa. But apparently it is a proper one. I don't know. We'll have a look again. We'll look at the name when we go top down. You probably know what it is. It's just not something I've been into, so I don't know. So we're going to have a look at these. Open the packages up because I want to get some of them out. I actually managed to get some Doll's House items as well. But as I said, the fair is predominantly trains and cars um but every now and again i fall lucky so for the two pound entrance fee apart from that it's still interesting to see the other things i might not collect them but they are still interesting i mean i'm saying trains and cars but my husband managed to get um again i'm gonna say this all wrong it's like a little tiny cannon it's a bit cute um because he likes the military side of things so he's got like a diorama so that was perfect for him i think he picked it up for three pound so i mean that was quite a bargain so there is things like that as well there are teddy bears um there's um brick and brack toys i suppose you could argue there's a bit of teddy bears a bit of dolls house there's a bit of this there's a bit of that um which is quite nice again because again you never know it's always worth a look and it's great to talk to people people always talk to you when you go to the stalls as well so you know you're picking up pieces of information perhaps you didn't know and it's just nice it's just nice everybody chatting like that so we're going to go top down now and have a look because i've been having this bag sat on the side desperate to get in it and i'm going to do it now i will see you in a second so here is my great dolly finds etc that I got from the toy fair. Now I'll pop this one on here first because it takes up the most room. This was just one of my Cindy's who was modelling it so the size is perfect. That was what I was looking for and when I saw it I'm like yeah the size is just right. So I'm really pleased with it so I'm going to swap her to one side and here it is. It says it's a Vino and it is a Yamaha. Um, so I know my husband sort of said that it's not what I thought it was and then he looked it up and yes but I just love the colours that sort of vintage feel I mean it's clearly sort of you know the wheels and everything move it is a model it is not a toy because we've got this sort of nice solid stand here which I can take off uh, if I wanted to sort of do photographs but saying that it holds it well you just have to sort of disguise that if you were doing photographs uh, look <laughs> even this goes up and down in fact no I could probably take that off because it's got a stand doesn't it so I didn't realize that that actually moved because I've not had a good look at any of these that I got so the detailing on it is amazing I mean this seat even looks like it could be leather <laughs> so yeah over the moon with that absolutely over the moon so it's going to be great to sort of create a scene and everything for later in the year yeah, so very very pleased there just thinking the lights don't work or anything today that i'm missing am i missing anything no i don't think so right so i'm gonna put that one to one side because it's this bag we're after getting into aren't we because there's all sorts in here that bag i need to take out first because that's like a different section but here is what i managed to get over the last couple of months and check everything's out yes it's all empty so as you can see there's a definitely a few dolls housey things now i'm going to go with what i went for the 
first month. Now, the first month I went, there really was not that much to get. So I was sort of a little bit disappointed, but I did pick up some bits and pieces. This was one that I picked up. I thought this would be perfect sort of to go maybe, I don't know, I thought my haberdashers, I thought I'd paint it up and put it in the haberdashers, but then I'm thinking, oh, it might actually look quite nice in the cafe, you know, with like little teacups and things in it. It needs a bit of TLC. I mean, that's not broken. It just needs fitting back in. Um, but yeah, I paid two pound for now, I know some of these pieces can be expensive. I know it's second hand, but I'm going to be painting it. So, to be honest, I don't mind. I'm not looking forward to painting those bits. That's a nightmare. But I think it's going in a shop one. I don't know yet. I will have to have a think about that. The other thing I actually got, which is actually in this bag. I don't know why I put it in there. Um was this little thing isn't it so cute it's on the bag i didn't want the bag i might be able to use the bag for something i don't know but it was the teddy bear i wanted it for because i just thought it was absolutely adorable it makes a great doll teddy bear as well it's sort of that sort of size and again i think this was two pound um i was quite surprised there was no prices on things and you're always a bit nervous because you know some of them will overprice to say the least um but this lady doesn't she's got the stall I mean, bric-a-brac's a bit of a mean word, really, because it me I just mean it's a selection. There's lots of different things, so your eyes are all over the place, so you really do need to concentrate. But those two were the only things I got on that first trip, so that was a little bit minimal. But I said, no, we'll go up again, and on this second trip... I got all this. Now, this is pretty good. There was a guy selling doll's house furniture. I'm just wondering whether I should check on something else. Before I go into these, I ought to really separate these up. Because you know the lady I spoke about with these? This time, I got this. Now, I'm 100% sure this is going in the haberdashers. Because I thought, you can imagine bolts of fabric in it again it's going to be a paint job but it does need a bit of sanding and cleaning but i think what did she charge me for that that might have been three pound but it's a nice solid piece of furniture and great for what i wanted and the other thing i got from her was this how cute is he yes another teddy bear last time i got one doll's house one teddy bear and i've done the same again but he's a little pot teddy bear and i just think he is super cute and he'll look really nice i'm actually going to put him in my cindy house i think and maybe sit it on her bed or something like that and i do think he's super cute and he was a pound one pound yay we like one pound bargains so those were the items i got from that one store we went round and we went round. i still didn't really see anything and then my husband went this doll's house furniture i'm like where and I still couldn't see it and it was on like a little end piece uh, we found it and this guy just got these boxes of these items now I'm presuming oh, I'm throwing them about uh, if you look at this there was some time back this sort of collector's magazine not something I bothered with at the time because I can remember thinking well I don't need most of that so what's the point it was 6 dollars uh, and that's weekly 6 dollars a week I mean that's a lot of money over a month so I think at the time I got the first few when they were cheap but then I didn't bother because I didn't think there was anything now he was selling all these items off now I did pay hey, let me get this right this was in this he had three boxes there was a five pound a three pound and a two pound box this was in the three pound box but I quite fancied this which we'll have a look in a second and then I started rummaging through all this so obviously he could see me rummaging he comes up and he went well you know if you want a few of them he says some of them will only be a pound not two pounds so I'm like okay so I picked up a few items put took them over to him he sort of went da 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 da, -da. And he says ten pound I went that will do me so obviously you can see I got some of those items cheaper than he'd originally said but I think perhaps his sort of um the market to sell them was probably a little bit more minimum than it was for the trains and the cars. So he was probably quite happy to get a sale. So we're going to get into this one first. If I can get into it. How do I get into it without making too much noise? I'm uh, Excuse me, I'm going to use my teeth. I shouldn't do that. It's not good for your teeth. All right, we're in. Let's get this crinkly paper off. Right, so, as I said, this is the magazine. This is number 70 of the magazine. I mean, it was quite interesting. I think at the time, though, um, my children were younger as well. And let's say £7 a week on a magazine for me for this was not something I was going to pay out for, you know, when you've got two young children. So, but it's quite interesting. I mean, it'd be nice to have a little read at it this time. So, there's all the bits of information in here. Sort of showing you different rooms, past and present. Um... 
that's a nice one I don't collect the dolls, but I do like the furniture. And look at that. We've got a little bit of fringing for rugs, which is quite cool because it's actually crochet. So that's perfect for me. Tassels and trimming. So it would be interesting to have a little read. Um, might be worth looking out for these, you know, if you go, do get them sort of second hand or something, just for a little read and for the free gift. I might go back next month, actually, and see what else he's got. So we'll pop that to one side. But this was the thing that came with it. Doll's House Collection. I'm really hoping all this is okay in the boxes because I didn't check. Ta-da! Oh, that's so cute. We have a little globe. And it is, I don't know, I think it is plastic. But it looks wood, doesn't it? And it does actually turn... I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm glad because, like I said, I got that in the magazine. That was a £3 one. I'm just trying to look round at my houses. I'm not sure where it'll go. It might go in my little one. I think that would be quite cute because I think that's going to be my Irie doll house. So it's going to all sort of, they're going to be a bit eccentric and things like that. So we've got this really cute little map. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's that say? I don't know. Probably it isn't accurate in the slightest um but it still looks cute this looks cute i like that one so that was the one i got off the magazine and then these were all the ones that he just bundled together for me i have a little rug i thought this was quite nice i do have some rugs i have made some rugs as well um but uh, if you go to a doll's house show you'll not be paying a pound for one of these to tell you that much i'm at it again with the teeth should stop doing it right so it's quite a nice little rug this could go in any of them. I think this is going to go in the one that I got from the charity shop for £10, which I've still not done. I've done the roof and that's as much as I've done. But I think that might be nice in there because that's a little bit bigger and it has more rooms. So maybe in their living room, something like that. So let's have a look what else we've got. So we've got two really nice things there. Now this should be a candelabra. Again, I didn't open it there because it was sort of sealed up. So, oh, I'm making a bit of a mess of that. Oh, I think we've got something. There seems to be a candle in there. I think something may have broken, but we can fix it. Right, this has clearly been in the box for some time. It's a little bit sort of rusty in places, shall we say. I don't know why rusty, but can you see? I don't know whether you can see properly. Um, that candle's come out of the middle, but it's nothing that I can't clean up. I'm going to be careful with that because these sort of metals can snap and you're not going to have much fun putting them back together in fact to be honest can you see there i think somebody's mended it i don't know but we can tidy it up and make it look a lot better than it actually is so it's not a big deal really but it's, it's a shame it had, does have some damage or it appears to have some damage now the other little bits i could see so it was easy peasy so these i have some little flowers now these oh, that i'm throwing everywhere now these can do anybody i mean these could be cindy's i know cindy's got some little doll's house flowers sort of lined up in hers uh because People do buy tiny pots of flowers, don't they? Or it could be a big pot of flowers from one of the others. Again, I'm looking possibly the uh, charity shop one that I bought because we've got a nice little, well, a tiny little garden area and they might be quite nice in the garden. So they're quite nice. I like those. We have a shelf and I have no idea who's that going to be. Again, it could be any size. Uh, as much as these are sort of designed for 12th scale, I think this could quite easily go as a shelf for my larger dolls. In fact, it might work quite nice in Cindy's bathroom so she can put her toiletries and things like that on. So, yeah, that might end up as a 1 6th scale one. So I will keep that for Cindy, I think. Now, the other bits, I've already got one of these, but I couldn't resist because we've just had the coronation, haven't we? Coronation biscuits. Now, my cafe that I've got does already have one of these. You might have seen the little short video I did for the coronation cafe. Um, so that's going to go in there. It's going to go with the others. So that's that's got a home. Easy peasy got a home. What else have we got? We have some little sort of, I don't know, again, would you argue baby toiletry type boxes? Be careful because I think these are pot. So I need to be, oh, I'm throwing paper about a little bit careful. They are. They are actually made of a pot. 
So I don't know what they sit on there. I can imagine them on there. So they're too small for Cindy. Mm, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Now they do have these tiny little lids, but I would probably put a little bit of blue tack or something to keep those lids on because they do have a tendency to come off. This one doesn't want to come out. I'm frightened to push it because I've got a camera obviously above me. And knowing my luck, I'll either hit the camera or throw the item across the room. So it's got a little little flower. Another three little flowers. And then we have three little lids. Now, do you think... You know, I think they could still be for Cindy. Um, they are tiny. But again, for sort of like certain toiletries or face creams or things like that. I'm just not having any luck with that, am I? Um, they would be small pots, wouldn't they? I mean, if you imagine, I mean, here she is. So if you imagine she'd sort of got a pot of cream, sort of face cream or something, she would have a little pot like that or maybe a perfume or something. So I think, again, Cindy might end up getting these. Although they would make quite cute uh, pots in the how oh, i don't know we'll decide later so we have two more here to open now this one i thought this was really cute it's a tiny jewelry box this is definitely doll's house size i mean this would be way too small for cindy so let's have a look at this now these are items that i would not have paid full price for them because i think some doll's house stuff out there is not great quality but when you're paying like 50p to a pound, I think that is okay. I mean, it's quite nice. Does it fasten? It sort of fastens. It sort of fastens. That needs tidying up a little bit there. But again, I might even put a different logo on. The little wooden box is okay. And obviously the jewellery is sort of like just glued in. So I don't know who that's going to go to. Again, I think it could be the same one as this one so we put them there and these i'm not going to take out but can you see these tiny knives and forks now again if i bring cindy in to be honest they're not far off her size are they but i do have some cuddly for cindy they look a little bit big actually don't they for doll's house i think they are doll's house uh well i know they're doll's house because obviously they were selling them all but i do think uh, I mean it looks more like a sort of steak knife and fork so perhaps they're meant to be big perhaps they're serving tight forks and things but well, we're going to take one out we've got to do it haven't we there's no point me sort of waving them at you and then you can't see them properly look at that so tiny so we have these tiny little forks and knives and spoons can you see how i'm on about the sort of shape of the knife that looks like that would be quite sort of a sharp one so let's pop one in cindy's hand and see what it looks like a little bit small aren't they i suppose that would work as a teaspoon for her um but yeah i think to be honest they are definitely doll's house size so we'll pop in fact we'll pop everything on the rug because i need to take a picture don't i for my thumbnail so i wish i should have done before i took everything out but never mind so that was the doll's house collection of things i got and i paid 10 pound for all of that i'm just trying to slide that under without it all falling off so yeah 10 pound for all of it. it's not bad is it i well i think that's quite the bargain so i paid 10 pound for that lot and then i paid i forgot what i even said they were around two three pound each and my gorgeous little teddy bear there and my really a gorgeous little teddy bear here but she's on the little bag so i need to sort that out so basically that is what i got at the actual toy fair but there is actually a craft shop there so i'll move those over there um so i had a little nosy she generally doesn't really have things i want but you know you never know and this is what i ended up with i found a tiny deck chair i found some cute little flowers i got some pots now these are for my cindy garden because she's that's what i was thinking these flowers could go in there so that's for cindy's garden and then i also picked up this little mushroom um because i was going to sort of think i was thinking mushroom toadstool month which i've still only done the one thing oh dear i am so running up and hill backwards i'm getting there but it's it's a little bit on the chaotic take that off so that's got to be painted up because it's just a little wooden one i think it needs a bit of sand before it's painted mine but i thought it was quite cute little deck chair i haven't got a clue who this would fit i just thought it was cute because rather than it being fabric we've got this sort of like bamboo effect so let's see if we can get it to work i could never work out a a deck chair is a with for a person let alone for a doll 
oh it's very tight i'm trying to pull in it oh there we go there we go and that hand then has to go it's very very stiff you will need to be careful with it so let me try and get into the slot in we go and then we got a tiny little deck chair who i've not got a clue who it would fit i'm wondering bear with me i'm just grabbing my midi blind because it's a bit of an odd shape size that isn't it but look how it fits yay midi's got a little deck chair which is really cute so that fits her quite nicely actually so those were the bits i just picked up because i said elska's great it is a heritage center so obviously a lot of it is sort of really sort of obviously historical heritage etc so there are lots of different little shops there there's a little cafes there's some gorgeous cafes uh, there's play place for the children and then there's an antique center it, it's just a great place to go um and it's in a really lovely area as well so those are some bits i've got to sort those out to go in there so that is my total shop for the two occasions so i think i did really well i'm really pleased with that i mean these little plant pots 45 pence each that's not bad is it 45 pence for a little little doll and it is actually a terracotta plant pot so i'm gonna leave it at that that took a little bit longer than i'd anticipated and i've not put in my most important thing there we go and i got my uh, gorgeous scooter as well um scooter by the way was what did i pay I think it was £15. Yeah, I know that sounds a lot, but within the model making world, it wasn't, you know, um, for people who collect things like this, they're not that cheap. I know I've got it for a doll, but, you know, it is a proper collectible item. So that's it from now. I need to tidy my desk up now because I've got lots of bits of paper over here and I will see you very soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe and share. It helps me out an awful lot if you do that. And I am so pleased that you are joining me and I will see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.